So we can uh, see your uh, video on your screen. So try to tell us something. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. That's great. Ah, no, it's working. Okay. <laughs> so enjoy your time, and uh, don't hesitate okay. to to use more time that you had. To, you don't have to finish at. Uh, 16, 15. Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no problem. It was a little bit complicated for to start, or I can't uh, open the audio and the video, uh, but maybe it was connected to the presentation. So, um, yeah, hello everybody. My name is Thilo Gottschling, and uh, I will give you a brief overview about the update of the Ariscan film scanner, uh, Ariscan XT film scanner, and. Um, yeah, let's start with the first slide here. Um, just for your information, the last two years, one and a half years were quite challenging for everybody, but especially for us uh, selling Ari scans and um, doing XT upgrades, of course it was complicated because we were not allowed to travel everybody. So um, what we did, we get in some machines for upgrade and we send out machines uh, worldwide to China, to Australia and everywhere and had uh, yeah, very good uh, uh, customers, of course. And we had some support of our uh, uh, service engineers uh, on place uh, to do the installation remotely. And uh, finally, it worked out quite well. And uh, this first slide here is just to give you an overview of uh, what installations we did since 2019. We installed already 14 Ariscan XT new systems, and we did 32 XT upgrades on existing Ariscan classic machines. So um, just for your information, in total we have uh, around the world, we have 161 Ariscans, XTs and classic Ariscans, and it's about, um, if you can simply calculate, uh, we are uh, around 155 Ariscan classics uh, in total, and already 32 of them are upgraded. So um, a lot of work to do in the future, especially this year. We already had eight uh, upgrade installations uh, done here in our facility and also on site in Germany. And uh, we mean, meanwhile have uh, customers all around the world from the, uh, as you can see on the slide, um, a, a bunch of uh, national film archives already our customers. And what we offer, we have the new system and we have an upgrade package to upgrade your existing system to Ariscan Classic technology. Um, the next slide, I give you just uh, new features of our new software update uh, three, which will yeah, be released, I guess, uh, uh, this summer, maybe until until September is the plan right now, probably a little bit earlier. So uh, we have a new Cephot GUI, we call it, uh, and this is a manual triggered frame by frame um, scanning GUI. And that means that we can, we are not at the top end of the of the speed of the scanning of the scanning speed. So, uh, but on the lower end, because sometimes it's real, it's 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 getting really critical to transport and scan extremely damaged and fragile material, as you can imagine. So, uh, what we did, we started a GUI application, um, and I can show you an overview on the next thing. This is a really rough prototype thing. Uh, the buttons are not yet finally designed, of course, but uh, we can start out of a scanning job on manual triggered scanning. And that means I have completely control over the image position. I can move the image up and down manually. I can do preview scans and I can save every image step by step manually triggered into the job. So it's using the, uh, uh, the data path of the standard job so I can stop any job at any point, go a little bit back some frames and start the job again in the manual mode. And that means I really can go step by step, 10 frames, 20 frames, very simple using, very comfortable using to save the, 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 the files in the continuously named and in the same folder as the main job goes finally. And that makes it very comfortable to really scan kind of extreme material and do it, it really like yeah, photographing every image step by step. This is one feature uh, which will come out uh, uh, this, uh, on, the, on, the, on the next software update. And uh, 
next one I can show you is uh, we have, of course, an RGB scanning mode. This is just to show you where we come from. Um, scanning with the RE scan means we have three flashes, red, green, and blue, and we save an RGB file, a color file, of course. But um, as you can imagine, a lot of uh, film materials in the archives are just black and white. So the idea behind is why not just using one flash, the green and the red or the blue one, whatever you like, and just flash it once, one time, and save it as a DPX uh, black and white file. And uh, our standard mode here, RGB scanning mode, uh, the scanning speed is seven frames per second at 2K and 2.2 frames per second at 4K, depending, of course, on your transportation settings, how fragile your film material is and how gentle you want to, to transport and move the film through the scanner. So these are the maximum speeds with a quite a good uh, material in a very good condition. And if we go now to the LED color setting mode, this is a new feature here to say, okay, I just want to scan it with a, with a red flash, not with a green, not with the blue, or I can say, I just want to have the green flash. Depending really uh, quality wise, the green and the red are quite good. The blue is a little bit more noisy, but also can work depending on Tinting or toning or what you have on your film could be useful to use also the blue one and so on. So, but it means I just use one flash and not three flash, not three flashes at one time. And that means uh, the scanning speed increases up to 10 frames per second in 2K in black and white mode and five frames per second in 4K, which is double the speed of the 4K in RGB mode. And another big advantage of this uh, thing to save these files as single channel output, not as an RGB file, three channels, 16 bits each channel, but as a one single, single channel output, which saves finally more than 60% of disk space. So this is what a lot of customers uh, asked us and, and requested because they just have black and white film and they thought they can save a lot of disk space if they just save a uh, uh, black and white DPX file or TIFF file, of course. Oh, oh, this was too fast. Sorry. I have to go back. <laughs> okay, here we are. And uh, one more feature is uh, we now have a DPX 12-bit output uh, beside the TIFF 16, DPX 16, DPX 10, and Sinion file output we already had. So this was also an highly requested from some customers to save disk space to have a DPX 12-bit output uh, available. And all these output formats now also available as single channel files, um, as I told you just before. And um, the roadmap, uh, our software development roadmap for 2021 is uh, the release of sub three. Excuse me to interrupt you, but we are unable to see your screen. Oh, okay, well, sorry, once again. Okay, then I have, yeah, I have to share it once again. Uh, okay, this was my mistake. Sorry. Yeah, much better. Much better. <laughs> Okay, sorry. We have a yeah, good imagination, but um, we are, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we no, have no, energy please, now, please. so we have to watch it. <laughs> okay, so we ended here, I think, with the file size and the disk space, yes. uh, what we can save. So this was the next slide with the DPX 12-bit file format beside the, the other file formats, which can be output all as a single channel files as a new feature. And um, this is the roadmap again for 2021, uh, the release of the software uh, update three. Then we have still on the roadmap till end of the year, OpenEXR support of the output files and an ACES support uh, for uh, color consistency. And finally, hopefully it will work out till end of the year, we will have a quick time progress output. So, but this is very uncertain in the moment because we don't know how much uh, work this will uh, uh, create. But uh, uh, the idea, of course, is to have this uh, quick tempo res output on the Ariscan XT as well as on the cameras, of course. 
And another very new uh, updated thing is will, which, which will start on 10th of June, so uh, over tomorrow on Thursday, is we will have uh, the Ariscan um, as a cer certified pre-owned uh, solutions. So, which means you can purchase an Ariscan Classic. So we will have uh, on availability, of course, Ariscan Classics. Sometimes we get them from post houses, which uh, do some trading against maybe some cameras or change completely their business case and don't doing any 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 film scanning and any film work anymore and uh, doing more rentals or want to have a camera. So we trade in Ariscan Classics from time to time and we can uh, offer them plus an Ariscan XT uh, upgrade package. So Ariscan Classic plus Ariscan XT upgrade package and you will end up uh, technically, technical wise on a new standard Ariscan XT. But price wise, it's uh, a third, 30 percent uh, less than a new machine, of course. And but what you get is, of course, it's an ARI approved certified pre-owned system. You will get 12 month warranty as buying a new system. So everything will be the same for the customer. Um, but it's not just a new housing, maybe the housing maybe have some some crackers or is, is is not of course refurbished. But it will end up uh, from from uh, from design as a new Aris XT. And we have the same uh, now uh, available uh, for Ari Laser 2. So we actually are requested uh, a few times a year for Ari Laser uh, 2 uh, are still in use. And uh, we also now have one system uh, in stock and, and, on, uh, and available and can offer these machines also as an Ari approved certified pre-owned system. And um, yeah, so this is it pretty much uh, what I wanted to give you a short brief update uh, about Ariscan XT. Uh, so we are uh, actually manufacturing, have some struggles with uh, spare parts, of course, in the moment, so technical wise, uh, computer parts and everything, but uh, uh, we are working in, on it and uh, uh, delivery time currently is three months. Maybe this could be uh, some uh, for, for some of you interesting at this point. And but uh, would be nice to 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 get any any uh, request from you, of course. And if you now have questions, so uh, please feel free and use this forum here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was nice and. Uh... I don't see any question here. Okay. Okay. So thank you for your presentation. Um, see you um, on the next um, 